Hey everyone, welcome to this daily sidereal astrology forecast. This is for Wednesday, September 26, 2018. All right, so today we uh, are essentially coming off of a full moon, still very much uh, within orb. We just had it uh, Monday and Tuesday of this week. So great time to do this still status check and incorporate these qualities of Pisces, which is about uh, developing that receptivity, uh, perhaps our intuition, and just essentially bringing in more of this uh, interconnection to life. So the moon will be in Pisces, so still themes around that today. Um, we are easing up off of the sun squaring Saturn, which was part of the full moon. So maybe some easing of uh, restrictions, if you felt that collectively, or maybe some responsibilities uh, lifting as well. Uh, but today we have the last Mars going over the south node. So final sort of releasing here of maybe some karmic stuff that we may have been working on since uh, June. June 8th was the first contact with this. And it may have had to do with us asserting ourselves or taking action towards some of this uh, releasing. So final contact with that, maybe some final um, you know, development there with that. So let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the sky for this Wednesday. Um, so again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. Uh, if you notice, I mentioned that the full moon was in Pisces. If you were expecting me to say Aries, uh, be sure to check out that link down below because we are using the actual size of the constellations uh, as seen in the visible sky. So this does change the signs from mainstream astrology. All right, so the moon uh, in Pisces still today, very large constellation. Theme still about incorporating this full moon energy, which is essentially receptivity, right? Pisces is about connecting to that inner guidance, to that present moment, surrendering what's outside of our control through this, accessing more of this receptive approach. So this is great for in the full moon, which is the heightened part of the cycle still, you know, developing this stuff as we take action, you know, as we go about our day and things like this. So great for bringing in things like our intuition into that. And just more of a receptive approach to things. Maybe more acceptance in general of what is and noticing how there is this ebb and flow of life. So great to do this stuff today, likely noticing themes around it. And we could just be feeling emotionally secure when we are developing these qualities at this time. All right, so in terms of the aspects here today, um, we are going to be lifting off of this sun square up to Saturn energy that we had as part of that full moon. <clears throat> so this was exact yesterday, so we'll likely start to feel this easing up. And this is where the planet Saturn, which represents our responsibilities and things that we're working within our limitations with. Um, in a square, it's about essentially doing that, working within our limitations, setting intentions to work within them, also to maybe take care of responsibilities, you know, to do the grounded, responsible thing, whatever that might be for you. And so if you've noticed that collectively, <clears throat> that energy is lifting off today. So if there's anything you can do to integrate this, finalize it, further develop it with that intention, the willingness to work within those limitations, take things seriously and respons responsibly, great day to utilize that here today. So um, as that eases up, we do have this now final contact with Mars over the south node. So Mars went retrograde and passed over the um, south node uh, a few times. So now this is the last contact. Now that Mars is direct, he's going to now continue his way through Capricorn. So this could be the final releasing of anything that has been karmically involved in your life that may have had to do with um, self-assertion or action or cultivating a greater sense of independence in our life. So whatever this has been for you, and in fact, down in the comment section, I will put which house this is for you, so you can get a, a better idea of what this might be pertaining to. But this is the final contact, meaning that there's likely some final releasing taking place. And so this could be karma, it could be things we're resolving, it could be wounds and things from the past that we're becoming aware of, accepting, and through that naturally being released, and so excellent time to kind of do this 
With the south node, it's very much done in the unconscious mind, so it's not really a conscious thing. But if you do notice this kind of energy, you may notice today that it's a final, um, or this part of the week, this kind of final releasing of maybe some of these things. And again, you may know it because it will have to do with Mars. And Mars is the side of ourself that is direct, assertive, it's the masculine energy collectively. So there is this releasing with that and perhaps utilizing some of that energy to do some of this releasing. So final time of this, a clearing. And now as we move forward in these coming weeks, noticing some sort of transformation with that masculine energy, some releasing, some imbalances released with it, and then also just in general, maybe some karmic things that have been resolved. And again, this has been taking place since around June 8th. So if there's been something in particular for you since then, uh, it could be pertaining to that. All right, and then as we get into tomorrow, Mars is going to be trining up to um, the, uh, or is it the sun trining up to Mars? So we'll feel this mostly as we get into the later part of the week. But nonetheless, as the day unfolds, maybe feeling a bit of this boost with a bit of that directness, right? So maybe expressing ourselves directly with the sun, maybe just a bit of confidence, courage, motivation, perhaps. You know, it is again still Pisces energy today. So it is still about that receptivity, but noticing that as we get into tomorrow, um, great way of utilizing anything that does uh, involve a bit of that masculine, direct, assertive, independent energy of Mars. All right, so that's the day in a nutshell. On a minor note, the moon will be squaring up to Pluto. So this is uh, good for setting any intentions with things that might require empowerment. Good day to do things that through doing so will feel empowered. Uh, we're likely wanting some deeper feelings and deeper emotions. So anything that we can do to be aware of the deeper realms, accept them, work with them, maybe face fears, anything like that, nothing major, but good to do that emotionally when the moon is squaring up to Pluto. All right, so that's the day in a nutshell. Um, so along with that releasing with Mars and a bit of that Mars energy increasing with that self-expression, sun trining Mars, the moon in Pisces today. Great day for essentially continuing to develop this full moon qualities of greater acceptance in our life, um, developing our creative side or imaginative side, right? But also that we can essentially connect to that inner guidance, which Pisces helps us develop. All right. So everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you again for watching. And I will see you all tomorrow for the daily forecast.